internet, my name is Lave, and I couldn't decide what to watch this week. I was scrolling through my options and I really didn't fancy Dora the Explorer, so that was out. I haven't seen Olympus or London Has Fallen, so Angel Has Fallen was out of the question and I don't think I'm missing much there. Crawl was a possibility, but a lot of the big boys have already reviewed that. And then I found my salvation. I noticed that Pedro Almodovar's latest film was out, so I watched Pain and Glory. Which stars Antonio Banderas as Salvador Malo, a film director with some hits in the 80s but who hasn't made a film in a while, who is now pondering retirement due to his ill health, both mental and physical. But when a film festival restores one of his films, it sets him on a path to confront moments and choices in his life, past and present. So it's interesting that we've got two veteran directors who are both clearly passionate about their craft and the art of filmmaking, releasing movies which are love letters to their past, one being Quentin Tarantino with Once Upon a Time in Hollywood and now Almodovar with this, which is a much more introspective, personal and intimate story when compared with Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, this one being a semi-autobiography. It's pretty clear that our main character, played by Antonio Banderas, who is great by the way, has been modelled on the director himself, and it's a story that is told in a non-linear way. It ebbs and flows through time like a dream, through Salvo's memories as he reminisces over certain events and people in his life, especially his relationship with his mother, which is a common theme in our mode of ours movies and in this one I found it particularly moving. I also laughed on quite a few occasions, especially when Salvo meets up with Alberto, one of the actors from the 80s film that they made and the festival have restored, who also want them both to attend a live Q&A, which is a problem because they actually haven't spoken to each other in the 30 years. There's a bit of animosity between the two of them, but it does lead to, to quite a funny scene. As a result of that, Alberto discovers that Salvo is still writing in some capacity. He's doing this kind of memoir which he actually calls his confessional and Alberto wants to adapt that into a theatre production but Salvo doesn't want him to because as he says it's his confessional and it's very personal but then he eventually does let him and as a result of that it coincidentally brings someone else back into Salvo's life which I, I don't want to spoil but it does bring me to another point that I want to highlight I mean this film could have so easily come across as melodramatic but it neatly sidesteps that by having the characters recognize when they're being melodramatic. For a film that occasionally goes into dark places the cinematography juxtaposed that it radiates with a vibrant color palette it even has an animated sequence with Salvo reeling off his long list of ailments and there is a recurring line of dialogue or phrase throughout the film which is whitewashed and they're literally referring to the color white for example in his childhood his childhood childhood home which is literally a cave is completely painted white and then they hire an illiterate builder to decorate it with these tiles of artwork which ignites his passion in, in more ways than one and sends him on a path to film and then in his later adult life the whitewash becomes this blank cinema screen I mean even in the opening credits this white blank square is surrounded by art and I think this represents the character of Salvo he's he's a blank canvas now and he's looking for inspiration even though he's surrounded by art he's he's lost his motivation so that's my thoughts on pain and glory and pause the video if you want to take a closer look at my enjoyment tracker now I thought this was a lovely film that so easily could have come across as pretentious but it doesn't at all it's straight from the heart it does meander a bit I think deliberately so it kind of adds to that dreamlike quality and the way it ends it's got this almost meta type reveal to it I thought it was just perfecto but let me know what your thoughts are if you've seen it and let me know what your favorite Almodovar film is for me I think it's the skin I live in I mean I saw this a couple of years ago and I'm still trying to process it as always thanks very much for watching this video I really do appreciate it if you can give it a like and don't forget to share the leave gracias <laughs>